successful. Ground Zero are a titan in the Oceanic region, and they want to live up to that name every time they're on the field. A lot of scoreboard watching going on in Oceania between these teams up at the top, the, the three especially that have a shot at the championships. Talking, of course, about Fringe Society and Renegades and Mind Freak, all kind of watching what each other does. Everybody very happy to see that Mind Freak dropped their opening match over on the B stream to Team Eros. We got business here as Decca taken out by Torsos. Drippe trying to center, he can't, but Jules will be right there. Let's see that redemption arc play out. Nobody to pass to, but that ball comes in his general area. Decca comes up instead. Things working very slowly in front of the ground zero net. Jules off the backboard, leaves it for Decca, trying to get our bump in front, but Express and Empress combine on the clear. And now Torsos will go for a demo. Express gets one as well, but Drippe will be the one to take this one and he'll be able to carry this one all the way downfield, at least to the midfield line before Torsos is able to get in front of it. Ground Zero Gaming already off to a decent start, but Crane Society applying pressure early. Amphis has Torsos streaking down the midfield, but could not get the ball to him. Express boost steal. Forces Decca to go around him. Try to get a piece of Jules as well. And now Amphis doing all he can to disrupt Decca racing down the pitch. Good pass out in front, but it's right to Torsos instead of Drippe. And Jules has to play that off to the side where got a teammate in Decca. So the teamwork defensively working out. Express had to sweep that off the line. Pinch Society are starting off with some really creative pass plays, and we've seen them at least get open opportunities in front of the box. The follow-up not as good. A follow-up here, but Decca gets a piece of the ball before Express could push through him, and it's still tied up. We've got three minutes remaining in game one as Cringe Society and Ground Zero are trading blows. Decca waited exactly as long as he possibly could. Got the clear. You can tell there are the nerves are gone. Amphis. Got one out to the side, but there's nobody there. It's more about just making sure to play keep away for as long as possible. Torsos looking for Amphis, not gonna find him, but the ball will find Amphis. And off the demo by Torsos, nobody else is home. Double kill and a goal for ground zero. Ground zero just, oh my goodness, the way they push through this. No wonder they were at the top of Europe. Just straight demolish the defense. Hey, if there is no defense, that's the easiest way for you to score. Good work on Torres House to set it up. And Fitz will get credit for the first one. Here's a team that when there's no defense, they play better. Grippe off to the corner. Jules waiting for the pass in midfield. Drippe is going to take it himself. Jules for the rebound, and he skied it up to the ceiling just about well over the crossbar. And now Torsos, all the time in the world, but he's gonna burn a lot of boost for not a whole lot of effect. Grippe stuffs it out. This bounces off the corner and Decca's gotta race back, making sure they don't get caught out again. Ooh. Oh, what oh. a pass, and Express makes it 2-0. This is pure confidence on display. If it's, oh, nope, that's a fake. Pass out, defense exposed and Express will ship it in. Unbelievable work on ground zero. The team plays on display. What else do they have up their sleeve? I mean, this could turn into a runaway if this continues. Amphis looking for more and scoring again. And Amphis just a part of all of the offense here. 100% goal participation on this quick three goal run. He sails it in. And Cringe Society need to get this under control because Ground Zero are taking off here in the opening. Still a lot of game to go, but something's got to click real soon for Cringe Society. And that from Jules was not it. Express working against Decca. Didn't get the boost deal, but he did get Jules as they collide with each other, take each other off the field, and Torsoff left at the back to just Delay, delay, delay. And again, Cringe Society are stifled on the offensive end. Torsos lob one in. Jules got to get there. Drippe's there. And so too is Express. What a read. Better pass. Better defense oh, out of Jules. But no, it's going to drop down for Torsos. 
and Ground Zero are doing everything right. No way! Look at this touch from Amphis. Jules goes up, gets a piece of it. He read Jules' initial touch. Got a drop down for Tarsas to, for another open net look. This is unbelievable! That was sick. There's no, there's no other way around it. This is just a team that is outplaying Cringe Society. Gekka to center here. Gorsos in the way. He knew Drippe was coming on and knew exactly where he needed to be. A lot of defenders, I think, Daz, probably would have dove at that ball and probably missed horribly and at least would break up the shutout. Instead, Ground Zero had a chance to extend their lead. A little side flip ruined that. And this is loose in front. Jules has to score here, and he does with only 36 to go. Good on Jules to make sure this one's at least not a shutout. But here's Drippe taking his time. There's a double commit on defense for ground zero. And maybe Cringe Society might have found a blueprint for them to get back into the game. 36 seconds, so, and they do end up getting one. Loose on the side with only 30 to go. Cringe Society at least looking for any signs of momentum. Getting a late goal. I mean, you know, the game's well in hand. There's only so much you can take from that, but just seeing the ball go in the net, that's gotta be some kind of confidence builder as the series rolls on. They just have to avoid the catastrophe that was the first four and a half minutes. Jules will have that drop down to Drippe. They'll look for one more for the road. Meanwhile, Express is just dancing around up on the ceiling on the other half of the field. So this goal from Drippe, cool. It's a goal, it's 4-2. I mean, to be fair, he did get it past two. You know, Drippe he still did. has some of the mechanics and he he put it on display there. I'll give credit to Drippe for that one. Partial credit. You, I mean, right, they still lost the game, but at yeah. least they come into this next one with a little bit of momentum as they are able to pick up a couple, you know, show that as good as ground zero are, they can still, you know, get scored on. But this one was just domination all the way up until that last minute. You know, sometimes, Daz, we see a team dominate a portion of a game or an entire game, and then the second game, they think, oh, we'll just get away with the same things we get away with while we were just kind of prancing around the field and messing about. And then all of a sudden, the series turns around. Maybe Grinch Society gets a little spark out of watching a team clown around against them. And that second game is a very different story. And we talked about the redemption arc for Jules. I wonder if the best is yet to come for Jules and Cringe Society in this series. Yeah, I think that's really something that's important to notice too. I think the first step for them though is getting past Ground Zero, right? Ground Zero's offense kind of cut through them like butter. It was not a lot of uh, effort on the defense, or at least that's how Ground Zero made it look with how well they were playing on offense. Amphis is a problem that I think Cringe Society needs to address because he was all over all, most of the plays there in that first game. Two unassisted goals on his part, two assists as well. He had his hand on everything Ground Zero did in game one. And now he'll be waiting at the back as the kickoff will naturally find him. It's almost like the ball is magnetized to him. Despite the demolitions out of Cringe Society, Ground Zero find themselves on the offensive end. And that is exhibit A, B, and C as to why they are the number one team in the region. Cringe Society is a team that's trying to fight to be, you know, that number two right now. And honestly, there's no better time to play your best against Ground Zero than right now, as this is your first series in the Spring Major. Again, we say it all the time, Sax. It's about who wants it more. And for Cringe, now's the chance to prove it. Drippin tries to go up, but Express is in. And Express will play this even further. Might have been caught between ball and boost of the corner. Jules will take that boost. And he may need some of it, though Drippe got ahead of Express. And he doesn't have a lot to work with at the end, but it's good enough to bend off the attack for the time being. Now Jules looking to center. Torsos is right there, but Jules will stay with the play. Drop down to Drippe. Chemistry's there, and Express makes one save. Gonna have to make another. No, Amphis comes in to help out as well. And now Torsos racing down the field, but he won't have Amphis in support. And without Amphis on the field, Ground Zero, much different Ooh. team, but Torsos comes in anyways. A little confusion just beyond the center line. 
Yeah, you talked about that confusion. Jules got an extra touch on the ball. Dripper was trying to help him out, but now he was just standing there. Taurus says, I'll pick this one right up, put it in the back of the net. Got to be looking back on, I, I didn't ask you to be there. Why are you there? Oh, that's just me and Rank, isn't it? All right, yep. check up. That's just you. <laughs> and this will have this away. Jules got a piece of it. Problem is it still ends up on the Cringe Society half, but not for long. Or if this game's going to be won or lost in the air, actually, I kind of like Prince Society's chances. We know those mechanics are certainly there. They'll be on display here, but Decca's shot is off. Follow up from Jules is in. Yeah, nice pass, Decca. I guess it works out. Yeah, and he gets behind it. You know, he was looking for the top left corner. Jules says, I don't like that one after your touch. I'll put it top right. Sails it in. Big splash. Prince Society on the board here. And it's important that they are on at this moment. Meanwhile, we to go back ground zero at that strong start. They built a huge lead over the first game. But Cringe Society says we're not letting it get out of hand that much. They're making adjustments here. And Strippe puts the double down. Cringe Society takes the lead. Bang, bang. Drippe with the double jewels chasing Amphis out of the net. Physical play all around, and Drippe gives Cringe Society their first lead of this series. Told you, game two was going to be very, very different. Drippe wants more. And he's at least going to stop Torsos. But Express there, Torsos still in the area, but now it'll be on Amphis to come up and help out the play. Now let's see how Cringe handled this lead that they're able to grab. Right now, you know Ground Zero are going to be aggressive. We've seen Torosos especially lead in the demo department, but that's a mistake. No one there to take advantage. Express will dish it out to Amphis, and here comes trouble. Amphis tries to move it downfield, but there's a good demo. Drippe gets on Torosos. That's going to cut Ground Zero's offense. Drippe against Torosos. Right to Decca, and a bouncer saved by Amphis. Oh, the opportunity was there. I'm sure he wants it back because that shot left a little to be desired. Here's right at the defense. Now Torsos with Jules bumping from behind, trying to stay with the play. Amphis lets one rip and it's in. And Amphis, this is just awareness on full display. Catches dripping in a bad spot, says I'm gonna challenge your position. And he just sails it through and dripping got caught going for boost. Tied up game. This is what we were expecting when we saw Ground Zero and Cringe Society on the schedule. Back and forth they go. Express has Torsos waiting to his left. Won't be called into action immediately. Deca chasing Torsos off the play. And that forces him all the way back with not a lot of boost. He did get the corner. As Amphis now looking for Express. Blistering shot stopped well out in front. Now Torsos gonna try to slow play. What? Got over one, but he couldn't knock Drippe out of the way in time. That was scary for Cringe Society. You saw ground zero, especially Torsos. He gets the flick high, tries to look for a demo. Meanwhile, Drippe the other way gets the flip reset and actually takes Torsos out. Amphis will sail it downfield to Express. Deadly transition from ground zero as they take the lead. The cherry picking Express way downfield and it takes off into the net. And that's a big one for ground zero. Heartbreak for Cringe Society. They still have a minute 11 to make up for it. Express over towards Amphis. This is the worst case scenario for Cringe Society. The last guy you want on the ball, but he lost it. And now Jules with Drippe trying to get a piece of torso. I don't think he got him cleanly. Now Express back over to Amphis. Trying to shift left, right, and center. Make Ooh. Cringe Society burn all their boosts and take them away from the corner so they can't get more. Torsos for Express. Now he took the shot himself and Decca makes the save. Express, oh, Express gets past one. Now you see ground zero. They don't really care about scoring at this point. They're just trying to wait for that defensive mistake. But there's one of their own. Express has to reach for that one. And he gets it right to Amphis, who's going to be able to at least hold on to the ball. Could have been a deadly drive there for Cringe Society, but ha they have more work to do. They got to get this one past midfield. Jules has Drippe. Oh. oh, that's a good redirect to at least 
try and set up the team, but nobody else came forward. And that may do it for Cringe Society. They're only gonna have one more look. Drip Bay couldn't make the save. More physical play out of Ground Zero is gonna salt away game two. Oh, it's like it was a soft touch. Amphis couldn't get the read and Drip Bay. I mean, there was a lot happening and he was upside down. Unfortunate is Cringe Society here. This one gets away from them. And I mean, uh, if this gets his hat trick, this guy has been doing everything for Ground Zero's offense. My turn offense. You see the, the all-star bots kickoff works out perfectly for Ground Zero. And they're up 2-0 with nearly identical score lines. Notwithstanding that goal there from Amphis, it has been, I, I don't want to say one side. I mean, that was a back and forth battle with Prince Society in game two, but Ground Zero pulled away late. And it's not always just the bumps and demos. It's just the threat. Once you establish yourself as a physical team, Daz, it, even just driving in the vicinity of the net gives the defense something to think about. And Drippe certainly felt it at the end when he gave up that last goal. Yeah, that's still gotta hurt though, especially for Drippe, right? Drippe in terms of he gets the double tap goal, that puts so much life into Cringe Society, it gives them the lead. Then afterwards, he tries to set up a play to help them get back into the game. Ball is cleared all the way downfield because there's no follow-up, defense caught out, and now he's last back after coming off a rotation, has to dodge a demo and make a save. That one was just a really rough, I'd say, 10 to 15 seconds for him. But Cringe Society, they got to be a little bit more on the same page. Again, this is another case of a team that's able to honestly set up some really solid open opportunities, but you need that second or third man to come in and make the shot. Five goals for Amphis in this series with, of course, that last one decidedly in garbage time. It outscores Cringe Society's four in the series. Express looking for Holy Roller, didn't quite get there, and now it's Drippe against Amphis, who he's just already up on the ceiling. The man is not actually human. I'll tell you what he is, he is a problem. And a problem that Cringe Society have not been able to find an answer for. In terms of setting up his team on offense, not even just scoring, although he is doing a great job at that. He can also create plays out of nothing. Look at him even now on the ball. If he would have got that, he did get the flip reset on that too. And that's what forced Jules to go up. Again, more pressure, but Ground Zero not able to take advantage of an opportunity. So first minute's gonna go by and we're still tied here on DFH. And Cringe Society kind of left the door wide open for just a moment, but nobody there to capitalize for Ground Zero. And that's been kind of a theme in this series, Ground Zero. No, make no mistake about it, they've been the better team. That somehow dropped down in front. Torsos couldn't quite guide it back on target. And now Amphis is there, wins the challenge, because of course he does. And now it's Torsos letting that actually bounce back out to Express. And Drippe read the whole play. Well done cutting it out. He's got Jules waiting in the middle, and Amphis cuts it off. And Torsos trying to hang on top of that, and Deca is able to knock it away from him there. Cringe Society trying to work with, you know, what they have right now, and it's not a lot. Ground Zero been controlling a lot of the resources in this one, as well as just making life hard for Cringe Society. The bump threat and the lack of boost. I mean, I'm saying that now, Jules supposed to be up for that ball. He gets the demo here, but that's after he gets bumped. And now still Ground Zero with the offense, still keeping it on that box of Cringe Society and the threat looms as they cannot break out. Ground Zero have mastered physical play to the point where they hit each other and they're still in position. It's crazy. Express gets a shot off here and now Decca racing downfield. We saw a moment ago Express got just blasted by Torsos and still managed to get downfield, get a look near the net, try to get a demo, got a boost deal out of it. I mean, their recovery is so quick. You cannot throw off ground zero. I mean, it's a monumental task just to get a quality look against them. Amphis trying to center instead dishes off to express to the corner. Now it's Torsos coming up and Decca had to be very patient, read the whole play and made another great stop. Prince Society defensively has been solid. Yeah, they've given up nine goals in this series, 
but they've been solid. It could have been very easily 12, 13, or 14 against Ground Zero so far. Drippe against Tornzoff. Oh, 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 play. A missile going through the net. And if there's anyone who could come up with it, we cringe the knee to it's Drippe. Pop! And then Torsos, as physical as he's been, he gets a taste of his own medicine. Removed from the play as that one sails in for Cringe. The torpedo just blasts him right out of the way. Drippe with his third goal of the series and his biggest so far. Got Cringe Society back in front. Remember, they need a reverse sweep now. After ground zero, handily took the first couple of games. Jules with a full tank of boost up the ladder. A little late though because he had to circle for that boost. Oh, Daka gets around Express, though. Nobody home, and the lead is two. Okay, we've seen this one before. Deca gets this one passed, and that's a bad read from Express. Deca sees an opportunity, doesn't let it pass by. Open that look, and here go Crange. But how much more gas do they have in the tank? Is it enough to hold off ground zero for a minute 27? <laughs> no, nah, oh. oh, maybe. Wow. I gave them no chance to make that save. And Cringe Society keeps the shutout intact. At least for now. Still a minute plus. <laughs> ball just pinballs around. And maybe it's Cringe Society's game as they go up three. They're pushing back, Stacks. They're pushing back. Literally. Torsos has gotten bumped in net twice as the ball has been forced in. And maybe this is going to be the start of a turnaround for Cringe. I will say, though, the, the kickoff plays Ground Zero are trying to come up with are impressive. But they got to be what, careful on defense. Chance for Jules. Will he find the second touch? He does. Gets the dodge, but you got to leave that one. A minute remaining. I mean, and... was looking for a triple. He was looking for a triple, and then Drippe scores this. It, and look at Decca. It is all smiles from him and Jules. I'm sure Drippe's smiling, too. You just can't see it. <laughs> this is much better out of cringe society. This is exactly what they needed. This was, this is the big game for them. I'm a little concerned. I mean, it might be too late, but at this point, though, I do like... Oh, whoa. Yeah, I don't like well, that. Well, <laughs> you know Ampus is going to get his. You can have 10 goals, Grin Society, but Amphis is going to score at least one as he continues his reign of terror. It might not mean a whole lot in this game, but I say might not. There's 47 seconds, and Daz, we've seen a lot of things. Saw Torsos go right straight through. Amphis couldn't get past Drippe. And Grin Society fans resting a little easier after that. Gekka with a save. Drippe couldn't play it in any further downfield. Ampris doing all he can to at least make this interesting in the final minute. But this has been Cringe Society's game, and we're just watching it. This one was ticked down. And, you know, you do talk about Ampris getting his, which he has been doing all series long, but it looks like the problem has been solved, at least for this moment. That's going to be a hat trick for Decca and a playmaker for Jules as the one-two works out for Cringe. I mean, when you need to start a reverse sweep, can you start it any better than this? Oh, of course, Austin. You like what you're seeing, though, a little bit out of Cringe, uh, not Cringe, Ground Zero. You know, this game's out of hand. Hey, let's practice some of these wacky kickoffs. Let's see if we can get something that might work later on down the line. The other hit side of that is maybe you don't want to tip your hand as the series goes on. But hey, fair play to Cringe Society. There will be no sweep here in our second match of the day. Yeah, they battle back. But yeah, all smiles on both teams. As, you know, Ground Zero do drop this one, but they don't necessarily feel like, you know, they've had their backs against the wall here. And I think that's right. important. On the other side of things, though, so Cringe Society, I mean, it has to feel satisfying to know that finally some of these offensive drives are paying off. Who knew that you would just have to delete Torsos from the play in order to make things work? But they did with some of that offensive pressure. And let's see if Ground Zero adapts after all of that, too, because, you know, okay, we solved the problem, right? Sure, Amphis is still a menace, but if you just 
take out maybe a weak link or if you make Torsos into a weak link by taking him out of the play, then all right, you can focus that and attack that. Can Ground Zero make up for that as we get a clean slate on Utopia Coliseum? Game four as again, Ground Zero getting a little creative to start the game and that's gonna throw Prince Society off balance just a little bit. Range. I mean, we'll see again. Can they keep up the, the pace? All it takes is a start off goal and that's top corner. Good save. Looking for a pass middle, but no one's there. And Amphis will start to drive. Does he have the foot? Oh he my he lord. Ground zero off to a hot start. This is sick. Jules never had a chance and by God, did he try. Oh my lord, Amphis. Okay then. Talk about all the momentum for Cringe Society after that last game. What a statement from the leader of GZG. Yeah, they, they were able to shake that game three off and now they're back on the right foot. So they have to cringe. They got to demand respect here. And this is the place to do it. Deca looking for the shot. Top corner splash. Cringe back in this one. How perfect is this placement? Near side, upper 90. You know the defense might recover. Don't give them a chance. Wow. A laser ties this game up. Back and forth go ground zero and cringe society. Exactly what we signed up for. Loose here though for Amphis and Decca emphatically swats it away. Chance on the offensive end looking for Drippe. How big would that have been? This, and, and another chance here. Drippe, oh! he finds it. Cringe don't give up. They take the lead off a two goal run. Didn't expect him necessarily to be over there, but even more to get that tight angle shot to go. Cringe Society putting on a show in game four. This is not the same team ground zero manhandled in games one and two. A miss out of Amphis. Maybe he's cooled off. Drippe against Express got by him and Torsos makes sure Decca doesn't get the follow. You know, Ground Zero Gaming, Daz, it feels like they're in damage control mode where before they were decidedly the aggressor. Here goes Drippe again! Oh my goodness! Drippe! Just on a dime! The pass up, he says, I'm going up and right behind Amphis. He says, you better watch that top corner because I will slot it there every time. 3-1 cringe. Wow. Amphis beaten out by Drippe and the defense from Crit Society settling things down against Ground Zero. Remember, they gave up nine goals in the first two games. And since then, they've managed to outscore Ground Zero eight to two. Torsos in front and Drippe pops it away. Oh. That's off the mark and Amphis gets them right back within one. Ground Zero battling back here. We talked about damage control. This is where it starts. Express, that one almost went in on his own. But AF is there for the follow-up. And Ground Zero keep grounded as this deficit is brought down to one. And there's still just under three minutes to go while Crin Society have all that momentum from the first half of this game. It's only netted them a one-goal lead to this point. Express. As that off to the corner, needs to play it himself. Instead, it's a great pass out of Decca to hit Jules. Drippe coming on. Express makes sure he doesn't get there. And got over Decca as well. Single-handedly stopping the attack from Cringe Society. Giving Torsos that opportunity. And now Amphis trying to bounce one in. Drippe got to it. And that's a big break actually for Cringe Society. Jules, one-on-one -on -one with Express. Got it in front for Drippe and he just missed the mark. And Drippe, although he just missed the mark, he still is able to beat two defenders. He is really feeling it this game as he goes up again looking for a dunk straight down. Express. Oh man, that was a desperate look for a demo. Amphis will get the clear. You really have to keep an eye on both him and Torsas coming into the late half of this game four. It was ground zero or down. 
And Chris decided he looks to turn it up, a pitch straight to Express. He's able to match it with the save. Yeah, the anxiety that comes with the demolition did not bother him one bit. Express airmails one, and Fisket get it down, and Decca with a clear right out at Torsos, who's got Express over there. Again, well-oiled machine, ground zero, not phased by anything. Amphis got around Jules, at least got the ball around him, but he himself was bumped. And that's an open net that Prince Society is going to walk back. Nobody was going to get to the net. Now Decca just gives that away to Amphis. And here's an opportunity for Ground Zero to get right back in this game for all the work that Prince Society has done, make it all for naught. Torsos could challenge, only Jules to beat, and Express does just that. And Express, I mean, this guy keeps going. We saw him with some desperate touches, but now that pays off. Jewel trying to take his time with the 50 in front, but no one is there to help him as Express pushes past him and ties up the game. And they're right back in it. Cringe Society has to go back to the drawing board. Drippe with ball and a chance to steal that boost and get further downfield. It's Jewel's shot that goes well wide. And now Decca couldn't get that away from Amphis, but Drippe can. 45 to go. Demolition on Express. Only Torsos left to defend. Amphis coming in late. And oh, he eventually took over, but little hesitation with him and Torsos almost cost Ground Zero dearly. Oh, there's a pass to Torsos. Tried to wrap around it. Ground Zero. That could have been one to close out the series. We're getting closer and closer to it! Amphis! You can't give him a free shot, Stax! He buries it every time! You'd think they'd learn, but Decca gets tangled up with Express. Drippe and Jules are left flat tired on the ground, and Amphis might have just buried Cringe Society with his ninth goal of the series. My goodness. Decca. Last chance for Cringe Society, blocked by Torsos. Nobody else was up, so just as well. They'll try here, Drippe, just oh! off the bar, no! and it goes across the goal line, but not the right way. Drippe, beaten by Torsos, and it's all Decca can do to keep this in the air, but that's gonna do it. Oh, heartbreak for Cringe Society, and ground zero goes to 2-0. Oh. Ground Zero came in and honestly set the tone for how the series should be played. And over the course of it, you saw Cringe Society fight back. It was a big game three win for them. But at the end of it, Amphis was consistently striking throughout the entire series. Express over there as well with decent assists and saves, including that tying goal in game four. And Torsos was just an off ball menace. And that makes up a ground zero team that just can't be beat. Cringe Society put up a good fight, but at the end of that one, it was ground zero and four. I think a lot of people have been buzzing about this team Eros. They got another win off our stream. We're finally going to see him on this stream. Coming up next, Team Eros gets the Canberra Havoc as the RLCS Spring Major continues after this.